Homeland Security's acting secretary visiting the McAllen Respite Center following a midnight shift tour with U.S. Border Patrol. This comes just a week after Kirsten Nielsen's resignation. Kevin McLean is the highest government official to ever visit the center. Sister Norma Pimentel says McAllen seems genuinely interested in finding solutions. Our Joanna Guzman has the details. Acting Secretary of Homeland Security Kevin McLean took a first-hand look at the McAllen Respite Center where more than 400 immigrants waited for food and clothing. Sister Norma Pimentel says McLean offered to help the facility with anything they needed to care for families. Yes, it's obvious that there's a lot of families being released and he, it's not a surprise to him because he knows what's happening and uh, he definitely says that he wants to make sure that he's worked with us to make to follow up with a response to make sure that uh, something is done about what is happening today. The tour lasted about an hour. Amongst many conversations, Pimentel says both spoke about Tent City, which will be used as an alternative detention camp. He said that that was going to be a temporary response to deal with the overcapacity of the fact that they have so many people uh, apprehended. And so uh, it, I, don't, I didn't foresee that being a, a, a more than just a temporary thing. Pimentel wasn't the only one who thought McLean was truly willing to help. McAleenan interacted with multiple families in the center who say they are thankful for his visit to witness what they go through. Excelente, muy amable. Y gracias a Dios que viene a ver la situación que nosotros pasamos aquí en este albergue. Lorena Martinez migrated from Honduras after she couldn't afford medical treatment for her daughter following a burn on her head. She's hopeful government officials will help the center after this visit. In McAllen, I'm Joana Guzman, Local 23 News. Joanna, thank you. McAleenan met with CBP and ICE as well as local stakeholders throughout the day discussing DHS efforts to ensure humanitarian obligations with families and children are fulfilled. We'll have much more on his visit tonight at 10.